They will use our country's name as one of their brands, and I'm pretty sure Molson Canadian remains their best-selling brand. But putting up the Canadian flag, at least in the month of June, that's, um, that's too much of a stretch for them. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Toronto. And folks, I'm at the Canadian headquarters for Molson Coors. And as I used to say on the Friendly Giant, look up, look way up. You see what I'm looking at? I know what you're saying, folks. Oh no, not again. Yes, you see, from this very impressive flagpole that is at the cross section of highways 401 and 427, normally, a ginormous Canadian flag is fluttering in the breeze, but because it's Pride Month, or correct me, it's Pride season, it's the multicolored monstrosity known as the Progress Pride flag. But the thing is, um, here's the question, why is the Canadian flag gone just less than two weeks until Dominion Day? And more importantly, has Molson Coors not learned anything from what's happened to Anheuser-Busch. Their stock value in recent weeks has plummeted by more than $16 billion US, all thanks to using so-called trans influencer, Dylan Mulvaney to push the Bud Light brand. Well, that met with an incredible resistance from traditional Bud Light drinkers, such as frat boys and blue collar workers, you know, the type of people Anheuser-Busch in their marketing campaigns were denouncing unbelievable and even more incredible folks. One of the main beneficiaries stateside of the ongoing Bud Light boycott is Coors Light. So the question arises, why would Molson Coors, at least in Canada, wade into such treacherous waters in terms of, uh, well, uh, pursuing the transanity agenda, given what's happened uh, to one of their competitors. Hey, maybe things are different in Canada, I don't know. We did reach out to the media relations staffers at Molson Coors, par for the course. I guess my questions were impolite, so they simply didn't respond. Well, we're gonna make a house call, see what's what, who's who in the zoo, and try to figure out why Molson thinks it's a good idea to cancel the Canadian flag in favor of this. Lockdown again. <laughs> what do we do? Yeah. Oh, hi, sir. Uh, how are you? How are you doing there? Can I help you? I absolutely, yes. Um, we're trying to find either, um, thank you, ma'am. Appreciate that. Uh, either Rachel Dickens or Josh Noel. They're with uh, Media Relations. Yes, so they'll be based in our Milwaukee office. Oh, they're in Milwaukee? Right, yes. Oh, my goodness. So, do you want me to get you uh, contact details for those? Do you know what? I've already sent them an email, but um, I, that was like two days ago and I haven't heard back, so I right. thought we'd make a, a house call. Yeah, no problem. So if okay. you contact those, uh, the contact details that you have over there, they'll be able to get it back to you as soon as possible. Well, there you have it. Even though uh, Rachel Dickens and Josh Knoll are noted as the media relations people for Mol Molson Coors Canada, uh, they're based in Milwaukee. I think that's about a 15 hour drive away from here. So I think we're gonna have to pass on that. Um, but like I said, we're just trying to get them to give us answers why they would cancel the Canadian flag and um, put up that uh, pride flag so close to Dominion Day at that. And remember when, you know, Molson was all about patriotism. Do you remember going back to the mid nineties, that iconic, television ad for Molson Canadian, namely, I am Canadian, check it out. Canada is the second largest land now, the first nation of hockey, and the best part of North America. My name is Joe, and I am Canadian. Now that's 
patriotism, that's advertising. Of, of course, I'm sure the left would condemn that as imperialism or colonialism or white supremacy or some such thing. And really, when it comes to um, Molson, don't you find it ironic, folks, that they will use our country's name as one of their brands, and I'm pretty sure Molson Canadian remains their best-selling brand, but putting up the Canadian flag, at least in the month of June, that's, um, that's too much of a stretch for them. Terrible, I don't get it. But anyways, it is a hot day. I think uh, Lincoln, Jay and I deserve a little beer, don't you think? Mm. No, sir, don't like it. Tastes like wokeism, tastes like political correctness, tastes like the ghost of Dylan Mulvaney. Cheers, go team, whatever team you love, I love too, okay. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, I know you depend on Rebel News to bring you the other side of the story. Let's face it, no mainstream media is going to cover this most recent flag flap, but we need your help. Please, if you can, go to rebelfieldreports.com. That's rebelfieldreports.com. And if you're able to, kindly make a donation.